Okay. I think we're ready. I'm here today with Emily Hesse in her living room. A living room dedicated to the museum of Emily. Emily, could you tell me how the museum started? Uh, yeah. Um, so the museum started in 1980. It's coming up to its 40th anniversary in a, in a couple of weeks. Um, and basically, I was born and uh, I just started making things and collecting things. And yeah, that's about it really. Can you tell me, um, tell me how many objects are in the collection? I mean, what you see here um, today is this. This isn't everything, obviously, that's uh, ever been produced in the world, but it's a, a very large portion of it, and it's the portion of it that obviously we hold in the museum. I think, I think there's like over probably about over six hundred objects in this room um, right now. Um, and obviously people really love to see all the work together. It, it, it gives a, a totally different feel to, to, to be so close to everything because, you know, obviously you, you can't really move when you're standing in here. You just have to stand in one spot and be surrounded by it all. Um, but yeah, I think that's really one of our, our, our selling points that, you know, there's, um, we just like to cram it all in. There's no minimalism here. Could you tell us about some of your favourite works in the Museum of Emily? God, that's a tricky question. I mean, there's a lot of work that looks very kind of adult and grown up and together. And there's a lot of work that looks like a five year old made it. Um, I, I, I like kind of the mixture of both. And, and then there's a lot of works that obviously tell a very personal story. Um, you know like like spike over there spike is is one of my favorite works and just to describe spike spike is a uh yellow well painted yellow former christmas tree without any branches and um the the reason why spike is really important is because last year i actually got impaled on a, a tree just like spike and I, I i don't know what the term is but i developed this sort of fear of bits of twig that stick out um so I, I really needed to kind of do something to get over that so so that that kind of fear of, of, of twigs so um spike is obviously a really important work in the collection and one that reminds me of a pretty traumatic experience um but one that i've i've managed to to get over thanks to art um Another favourite piece of mine is probably that little tiny bit of dirty lino up there in, uh, well, the, the frame broke. Um, and, and those objects, that, 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 that work, it, it was a series of works and there, there are probably thousands of them and they're not all in here, but it's just called painting on things um, or pieces of me or I, I, it gets different, work, different titles. Um, but that one I particularly like for... The, the color and also the texture, the way the oil paint has sat uh, on the on the piece of lino itself, which was actually from a former school uh, in, in Saltburn where the museum is here today. Um, but I, I could go on and on, you know, I really love that teapot. Um, I like, yeah, I love bricks, you know, so all the bricks are probably my favorite. I like some of the ceramic work that um, has exploded in the kiln and then I've glued it back together. Um, yeah. So all of the objects in this collection are made by you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, everything in here, every, everything has been made by me, sometimes with the help of, of other people. Um, uh, you know, there's the art util brick over there that was made in the workshop. Um, with other people um yeah i'm i'm the artist the curator the director the, the the you know i'm just a one woman band really um yeah and as a international museum with a global reputation how much funding do you receive um sorry sorry can you just repeat that question 
How much funding does the Museum of Emily receive? Funding for, for what? To, to, to be here? To be open? For what, 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 what do you mean by funding? Where does the money come from to finance this collection? Money. And to conserve it? But this is art. You don't get paid money to make mm. art. But you must take a salary for being the curator and creative director of the Museum of Emily. <laughs> um, no, I, I don't. I don't even know where I'd get any money from, to be quite honest. But um, no, no, I don't get paid anything to do this at all. Um, I'm not sure that I'm completely comfortable with the proximity art has to capital and its 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 value. This is this is art. This is this is you do this because it's just what you do. Thank you. And uh, Thank you. Thanks for coming. It's great. It's great to be here in this living room where we all live. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I just hope that the museum can, uh, you know, can stay open for a, for a number of years. Um, but I'll I'll definitely look into that funding thing. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I'm not really sure that's for me. I'm not really sure you could buy any of this. There you go. Thank you.